today, your boy XZV Grim, if I said your name wrong, bro, dropped another video. It's called uh, Why Shia LaBeouf Joined the Game. Also, Grim, if I said his name wrong. But uh, I got a feeling this is about to be a good video, so I'm not going to waste too much time. Let's get to this video. Oh, let me turn the audio up for y'all. You ever wonder what the world will be like if Charles Manson decided to become an actor? Well, lucky for you, you don't have to. Meet Shia LaBeouf. And you see, Sha Shia LaBeouf. Somebody, even Stevens. Let me know if y'all remember that show. Had a problem. Nobody would hire him for acting roles. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, this is probably because of the stuff he did to his ex-girlfriend, FKA Twigs. If you don't know, she's suing him for... She's suing him for doing very, very bad things to her. But that's not the reason nobody would hire him. They didn't hire him because he was too good of an actor. Let me explain. Honestly, though, what is she suing him for? If it's too crazy, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to hide it from hide it from me. I can't get this channel taken. I mean, <laughs> we're not even going to go there. But um, I just want to know, what did he do? Maybe I should just Google it, right? See, once upon a time, Shia LaBeouf was starring in a movie with Brad Pitt. Oh, let's it was called Fury. Cool. Shia walks on the stage. He goes, Brad. Brad goes, Shia. Shia goes, Scott. Scott goes, Shia. Scott's another actor. He's going to come in later. Shia goes, are those a pair of pliers? Everyone goes, yeah, they're pliers right there. He grabs the plier, and he pulls out his tooth. Red stuff starts flying. Oh, I can say blood on this app. Blood starts flying everywhere. He said, oh, I can say blood on this app. I didn't know you could. The director goes over to him and goes, Shia, you fired. Brad Pitt and the other actors go, hold on, director. Shia's a genius. The director goes, well, how do you figure, Brad? They said, well, he's getting into the role. The director goes, is that what you think? Can I show you what Shia doing now? They said, show us what Shia doing now. They go to the bathroom and they see Shia cutting his face, blood everywhere. Brad wait a said, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, is all this true or is this a legend? Cutting his face, ripping his teeth out. I remember watching a video a long time ago where they said that he was going through some things. Um, he even started making music about it. But I don't know what happened with that. I don't even know if he's still making music. But if all this is true, then I hope he really did uh, receive the help that he that he needed. I have to go, my character probably cuts his face because how he shoots the thing on the top of the tank. Brad go, okay. You're a genius. So in a bizarre twist, the actors get super inspired and they made one hell of a movie. But we're not finished. See, they go to this boot camp, right? For those of you that don't know, the movie's about army stuff. They go to this boot camp. They're doing army things, right? They know that Shia's getting pretty into the role. Shia shows up. Oh, Shia, you come. Do you take a shower? Shia's like, no. Nah, I haven't took a shower in a few weeks. Now. I'm not going to lie. From what I heard... Um, that happens to a lot of actors. It's a lot of spiritual practices that goes on to where it feels like, or if they might actually be possessed um, by spirits while they're in that role, and then it's hard for them to shake off that spirit that they uh, tapped into while doing that role. So um, it's crazy. If y'all want to re uh, me to react to stuff like that, let me know in the comment section. Think the soldiers had time to shower? They go, um, you don't gotta, you know, Shia start getting a little aggressive, start knocking and bucking at people. Watch out. Everybody go, all right, Shia, he getting into the role. But it all comes to a head one day in the middle of them shooting a scene inside the tank. Scott spits some tobacco on the floor of the tank. While they're rolling, Brad Pitt gets a little upset. He just thinks he's spinning. He's like, hey, Scott, what are you doing, bro? The director's still rolling. Shia sees Brad get mad, and Shia triples it. He goes, Scott, were you filming? You finna just spit in the tank? Brad go, 
Couldn't shy. I wouldn't say all that, but she's like, shy. I got this, Brad. Don't even worry about it. It's between me and Scott now. Scott goes slow down. It was in the script. It was in the script. Shy, I go, I don't care about all that. I don't care about all that. Brad gets up and he goes to his trailer. He says it was too much for him. He wasn't trying to do all that. Shia and Scott is going back and forth, knocking and bucking. Brad Pitt looks at the script when he gets home and he goes, Oh snap, that was in the script. The director told him to do that. That's my fault. That's my fault. So Scott says it's one thing to really be into the role, but it's another thing to make <laughs> everyone super uncomfortable and make the work environment bad. Brad Pitt says, I think Shia was a phenomenal actor. I don't know, have fun. Yeah, Shia, can you explain what happened on set? Shia said, I be drinking. Now I get it. You know, people get into roles all the time. No big deal. But the reason why I told you that... No. His excuse was I've been drinking. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say it was an excuse. That's probably what happened. But, uh... Anyways, it, let's just keep going. Next part. <laughs> Try to get my thoughts in the end. Friend, Creeper. Now, Creeper is a member of the West Side Body of Harpy 13 gang. I know you're a little confused. That looks like Shia LaBeouf. Well, that is Shia LaBeouf. See, let me explain. So, Shia was doing this movie. Right? And he was supposed to play a pretty bad guy. Shy leaves, he comes back with a bunch of tattoos. The director goes, Oh snap, fake tattoos for the role. That's smart. Shy go, No, nah, he's real. Shy, you know tattoos is permanent, right? Shy go, I know. But I'm creeper. They go, that's why you got no tooth, but moving on. Now another actor playing in this movie is a real street LA gangster from the Vatios. And him and Shia start getting along. They build a friendship. Shia start going to the neighborhood, hanging out with the Vatios and them. Hey, Creeper, come here real quick. Say, say what's up. What's up? Bang, 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 bang. They go, okay, Shia, you trying to learn the role? That's cool. That's funny, man. But at least he actually, you know, <laughs> at least he ain't pretending, you know. <laughs> he actually he into the role like he just did. Oh, nah, I'm in the gang. They go, okay, you trying to learn the role, that's cool. He go, no, nah, I'm in the gang. They look at the gang member, they go, he not in the gang. <laughs> From the producers of Vanderpump Rules, welcome to the Valley. This is adult stuff. Our priorities have changed. I'm I'm in the game. So he, hey, listen. Now, when I said he's actually in the role, but now he's actually, allegedly, was in it. Like, this ain't a role no more at this point. In the game. They go, you can't fool me. You got to get jumped into a game. Jumping in means a bunch of gangsters start mm -mm 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 for you to be in the game. They go, we jumped in many. <laughs> Bro, just really explain what jumped in means. I guess you have to in 2024 with all this stuff going on. The gang. So after he finishes the movie, the wild part is he goes to the hood and he hanging out with dudes for real in the streets. He starts donating to the community and all that. It actually seemed pretty wholesome, I'm not gonna lie. They outside, can you explain why you was in a gang? Shy shit. Free tanker. Now I'm sure this story seems cr Now, if he was referencing something this whole time, then I'm sorry if I'm just not catching on. I, you, you already deep into this video. You probably, like, man, you slow, bro. You, you slow. But my bad. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I miss stuff. Sometimes stuff go over your head, you know? But anyways, so this is why Shia LaBeouf joined the game. I think I got the question answered. But well, we can keep going though. To you, but it's actually not that crazy if you really think about it. See, Shia grew up in not the greatest neighborhood. Why I know that is because I lived right next to Shia. <laughs> Echo. Bro, I want to end the video right there. <laughs> in Los Angeles may seem super nice, but Los Angeles is kind of a weird place. The cities are all sort of mixed together. So you can literally go five blocks and see a bunch of male folk waving at you, and then five blocks later, the waves will suck. Man has really put the cast of, they look like friends. Let me go back. Blocks and see a bunch of. That's crazy. 
Now, since the child was poor, he lived in one of the poorer houses. And when you live in one of the poorer houses, you live with people that have my skin color or are not white. Now, Echo Park's not white people are usually Hispanic. And there are a lot of Hispanic gangs because of that. Now, the gang he joined wasn't from Echo Park. It was a gang from South Central. But that don't mean he was just used to the street life, so he just joined the gang. No. Remember when I told you that it's mixed in LA, back and forth, poor people and rich people? Because of that, you don't have to be accustomed to the street life. You have choices, but that's not all of LA. To prove my point, Billie Eilish lived a few blocks down the other way. So now that you understand how into the roles he gets... But that's actually how it is in a lot of cities. Like, it could be super poor right across the street from the richest area in the whole city. So, I don't know why. I mean, I, I kind of understand um, why they're doing it, it's, it's, but it's terrible. It's terrible probably understand how he's not that great to work with when he's playing a role where he has to be a mean guy. And even if he wasn't playing a mean guy, he would still be kind of rude. He got fired from a movie with Alec Baldwin. He was doing too much. He got fired from a movie with Olivia Wilde. He was doing too much. They said, Shia, what's up with the Alec Baldwin, Olivia Wilde thing? He said, they was capping. But I be drinking though. Now, to be fair, he says he wasn't kicked out. He says he left the and he did have receipts, but regardless, he's left a lot of roles or has been kicked out from a lot of roles. So people stopped wanting to work with him. And it was a shame because since he got so into his roles, he was a really good actor. Now, the crazy thing is he still probably would have gotten some roles because despite all of that hard to work with stuff, he's still a really good actor. He is a really good actor. You, whatever you might think about him or say about him, He's a great actor, honestly. Not really good, he is a great actor. Any movie that he's in, as far as I've watched personally, has been at least an eight out of 10 or better. So. Ah, uh, but then the FKA twigs things happen. Guys, when I say he's guilty of very bad things, I mean very bad things. And notice I said guilty of. He's not hiding it. He said, I did it. His lawyer was tripping. He said, Shia. Shia said, I did it. Now, Shia explained his erratic behavior in an interview. The stuff that I mentioned was only a small part of Shia's entire story. Shia said, as you could probably imagine, I be drinking. And this interview is basically where he admits to the stuff he did with FKA Twigs. He didn't say her name, but he said, I did some messed up stuff. And he said, I'm not gonna make excuses. I be drinking, true, but I was doing all that. That was me. He says that he saw people or sees people, I feel like that's important, but I don't remember which one he said, as a stepping stone for him to get to higher place. He said he cheated on every single girl that he's ever been with. He said Whoa. that he did some not so nice things, but he said the moment that changed his life is when he went to rehab and nobody showed up for him. Eventually, the mother of his child did show up and he felt that he didn't deserve that and he says that changed something in him. And even though people won't hire him, he said he stopped doing movies altogether anyway and is focused on trying to become a better person. After all that, his lawyer said, no, he didn't do anything to FKA Twigs. And Shia said, no, I did do something. His lawyer said, no, he didn't. And then Shia said, okay, I did some of the stuff. I did other stuff. Shia is erratic. Now, hopefully Shia's dedication to his craft, the fact that he admitted to doing something wild people usually deny these allegations but he said i did it which could be considered a good thing i guess but it's not typical right hopefully it could paint a picture as to why he did it does that make sense to you only a person who can admit to this stuff so easily and is above the world can do something like this in the first place word to charles manson <laughs> That's how you gonna end it. Shout out to the ass. Look, hold on real quick. Look, y'all. So, let me know. First off, let me know your thoughts. Shout out to the ass, y'all. Trying to, y'all trying to do right now. But um, first off, let me know your thoughts of this whole thing in the comment section below. And do you feel like uh, people? Like Shia LaBeouf, do you feel like 
jail or prison is the best thing for them or what do you, how, what do you, how, how do you feel like this should be handled? I, I, first of all, that's the first question. Um, and second question, if, well, it's not a, according to this video, he, he admitted to a lot of stuff that he did. How do you go about that? Right? I just know, I just want to know what your opinion is of this video. Um, but as far as this video goes, um, I think it was very uh, informative. <laughs> he kept saying, but I've been drinking over and over again. So let me know what he's uh, quoting right there. Um, but yeah, if you want more reactions like this, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I might start going live as well so we can break down some stuff even further than what it is. So if you want to see stuff like that, also let me know in the comment section. And yeah, man, um, I don't have much to say about this video. It's very well put together. Um, if you want to check out his channel, it'll be right here. You see the title, you see the name of the channel right there on the screen. And uh, 